<laughs> Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard and today Universal Studios Hollywood announced some very cool things for the summer. We're going to talk about them right now. Now, they, didn't, they just sent out a couple of tweets, but in those tweets or on the information on the website, you can't really get too much detail. So we're going to do a uh, read from Carly Caramana, good friend Carly Caramana, here who was on the channel on a video, and she'll be on it again. She sent out a tweet of the, the media press release they all got. And here's a tweet. So starting from Monday, June 27th, which is in about 11 days from now, today is June 16th, through Sunday, July 17th, which is Disneyland's birthday, mischievous minions will take center stage at Universal Plaza where guests can meet the newest minion, Otto, long fan, fav fan favorites Jerry and Dave. Now, I will go ahead and be there on Monday after work to go uh, film this meet and greet and take a picture with Mr. Otto himself. This is for the uh, promotion for, of course, Minions Rise of Gru, which is opens in July, early July, I believe. And, and you can see that trailer uh, online, or you can see it in front of Jurassic World Dominion. There's lovely Carly with a nice little coffee. Then as you go down the tweet, a big one, this summer sees the return of the special effects show. This is very important. The special effects show is going to Run daily from Friday, July 1st through Sunday, August 14th. I'll be there on Friday, July 1st. I'll try to be there on Friday, July 1st. I'm the first show to film it, but I can. Now, I'll just give my review of it, because actually, I don't think I've ever seen the special effects show, or it's been so long that I forgot all about what it's like. So I'll be there on Friday, July 1st to see it. It's going to run through daily through August 14th, and then weekends only beginning Saturday, August 20th. My bet is it's going to begin... Uh, I just continue on the weekends only, all the way through either the start of Horror Nights or through the end of Horror Nights in November. Um, because don't forget they have to share that stage with the Jabberwockies for Horror Nights from September um, 8th through October 31st. And then November is, again, when we'll likely see that, dem hopefully, see that demolition of the special effects uh St stage for the Fast and Furious coaster, and then uh, again, coincidentally, or maybe not so coincidentally, that could be also the time where Super Nintendo Soft opens, right? So <laughs> it's all kind of coming together, right? So you ha you're losing some capacity with special effects show, and you're gaining capacity with the soft opening of Super Nintendo World. Now, um, that is the reason they are doing this, really, because it's just an empty stage sitting there. Jabberwockies are returning. They can use some added capacity. And of course, as you remember, JP Land posted that um, the company that was doing, that kind of does the shows for, or does the stop work for the Universal shows, specifically Waterworld, was hiring um, new stunt performers and new performers just a couple of months ago. And this is why. This probably is for the special effects show. Then when you do this show, infrastructure is already there. It's easy and cheap to start back up, soak up some capacity, and people eat, especially um, as it gets hot in like July and August, um, 90 degrees outside. People are not going to be want wanting to walk around all day. People are standing in long, long hot lines. Animal Actors and Water World, Universal's only two shows, are both outside. So they're actually in the nighttime nights at Hogwarts. Are, all of them are outside, even though, of course, that the Hogwarts is at nighttime. But they're still all outside. So Special Effects Show will provide a nice shaded place to go to, and it's a 25-minute show. So that is that's good as well. It's in a nice half hour um, in the shade, which is not only again with the added, added capacity, but it'll be a nice uh, place to cool off for a little bit. While you're waiting for, uh, while you're taking breaks in between the rides or doing whatever you're doing, so that's cool. I've never seen that again. Like I said, I've never seen or don't remember the special effects show. I'm not sure if it's going to be slightly different or or the same. Uh, we'll find out on July 1st when people start posting about it. But yeah, I'll be better check it out. 
That's cool, and I'm so glad they are. I'm glad they are using the space, and the theaters are going to sit there until at least after Horror Nights. I'm glad they're going to use the space for capacity. And then um, Alicia Stella posted in the Inside Universal forums that after she made the Fast and Furious video, she heard that they're going to use it for one more summer before it goes down. So in 20, summer of 2023, it probably won't be there anymore. So again, if you like the special effects show, if you've never seen the special effects show, or if you missed the special effects show, uh, this is your last chance really to see it. From now through, I'd say in early November would be the last chance to see it. I mean, it could be, could be, or soon that could just go all the way to Horn Eyes. Can these, the Universal just teased summer offerings. Their whole post is about summer offerings. So the special effects show could just last until summer again, until September 8th when it switches over to the Jabberwocky. So you really only can have just this summer to see it. So definitely go ahead and check it out if you need to or if you want to. I'm gonna be very excited to see the stage demolished uh, in November, hopefully, and I'll be very excited for a potential soft opening of Super Nintendo World in November. Um, also, the Nighttime Lights at Hogwarts is officially returning, I guess, nightly, um, starting today. Today's Thursday, so yeah, I guess nightly. I assume throughout the whole summer, but I mean, for, the, for those of you who pop over to Universal on the weekends, um you know that it happens sometime on, sometimes on random Saturdays and Sundays. Like when I was in the park last week to film the update, the Super Nintendo World update, it said that nighttime lights at Hogwarts was happening that day. So I guess it kind of never really went away um, for too long. But now I guess it's returning nightly. Um, so yeah. That was it for this week's Updates the universe kind of just, just surprise drop this stuff. It's really cool. I'm glad Universal is beefing up their offerings for the summer. Of course, Universal is also having on June 24th in LA, or they're teaming up with LA Pride. I guess the, it's almost kind of renting out the park, I guess, because it's an LA Pride event after a dark event. It's $109 per person. Um, And I say it's, they're kind of like renting out the park because to get the tickets, you actually have to go on the, it takes you to the LA Pride site, like LA Pride's website. So, um, yeah, so it's like a kind of, again, they're just um, kind of running, uh, really partnering with the park for the LA Pride, and they're leasing the park to them uh, for the night. So if you want to go to that after hours event, it's on June 24th. You can get tickets right now. It's $100, $109 per person. If you want all more info and more rumors on Universal, please subscribe to the channel and become a member for early access to cool videos like this one. And as always, have a fantastic day. Bye-bye, everybody.